All right, VB Adrenaline uh, fans and followers, welcome. Uh, Savannah and I back. Madison's on her way, literally, <laughs> as we speak. But day one of Under Armour All-American Week for the volleyball team. They reported yesterday. Um, if you watch social media, you saw all the gear grab, which is famous with this week. But a great week um, with all of this talent. And so I'm going to tell them a little bit what we've seen so far today. Sure. Today has really been about the best players across the country, 24 top athletes from the class of 2024 coming together to create these teams that we're going to see compete. So it takes a little bit of time to get comfortable. Yeah. We saw them do some hitting lines this morning, and now that they're starting to play in a more game-like setting, we're seeing them talk, we're seeing the hitters start to connect with those setters, and I can't wait once this all comes together in the big game to see what these athletes look like put on teams where they're coming together in these just a couple days. Absolutely, and even though they know each other from clubs, from tryouts, from NTDP, whatever, when you're in a gym, there's always that anxiety, that nervousness right away. <laughs> and you can tell them, you can see them starting to loosen up and actually play now. So by Tuesday, match day, um, there'll be a well-oiled machine or team, I guess. But a lot more actually goes into Under Armour All-American Week other than the on-the-court stuff. Um, uh, the owner of Under Armour, Mike Plank, was here and talked to the athletes and gave them a message, rolled out new apparel line, um, which the kids love every year, but uh, it really is a big event in the Orlando area. Totally. It's a huge investment for Under Armour, and I think what we're most excited to see, and we're going to talk about it all throughout this week, is how top these athletes are. Darren, why do you think an event like this, showcasing the best players across the country coming together to compete, is important for volleyball. Well, yeah, everybody talks about the explosion of volleyball, right? And for example, the media here, yeah. they haven't had media in the past, right. right? Now people like us showing up to cover this. Football's had it for 20 years, right? The basketball game, the all-star games, they've always had it. Volleyball hasn't, shows the growth. But the real thing, and we'll talk to Mike Lienfelter a little bit later, and Zevo, we've already talked about, the common thread here is they really got back to competitive volleyball. This whole process, finding these athletes, they took it serious, and make no mistake, they want it to be a very competitive match, intense volleyball, mm -hmm. by the best players in the in the country that are gonna be the college stars of tomorrow. Well, we know who you guys wanna see. It's the athletes, so we got a chance to talk to them, interview them about their experience. Check it out. I'm here with Hannah Benjamin, a 2024 outside going to Kentucky. Hannah, can you talk me through a little bit about this experience so far? This experience is just surreal. Like everybody's vibe is just so energetic and just wants to work hard, but also like have so much fun. Like during a drill, we were sweating so much and we were so <laughs> tired, but like our adrenaline just kicked in and we were just having so much fun playing together. Team ICE captain Izzy Stark Setter on her way to Penn State. But Izzy, talk about first of all being a captain, <laughs> chosen captain for an event like this. Yeah, I mean, it's honestly like a dream come true. Like. Being able to invite it to this stage and everything is like right. pretty much like what everyone wants to do. But then when I found out a couple weeks ago that I was captain, it was just like something that I didn't actually think like would achieve. Like you're at the highest level and you get to be like a captain of a team of such great athletes and yeah. lead such great athletes. It's just honestly such an honor and it's just such a privilege to do. Joining me is Aiden Ames, Texas commit. Aiden, this is the final moment kind of of this journey through recruiting, through high school volleyball, playing at the Under Armour All-American. How has this experience been and felt for you to kind of end it on this really high note with top competition? This experience has been so fun already and I just got here yesterday. Um, they have just laid out the red carpet for us, whether it's gear and the teammates and everything, the social media, they just really wanted to um, we are, we're all graduating early, or most of us are graduating early, so we really all wanted to end it on a bang. Yeah. And they just set up this amazing event for us, and I'm just so excited for the game. I am lucky to be joined by Mike Lingenfelter, who has year one working with this event. And tell everybody, first of all, maybe what your title is and a little bit what your process is in the, in the yeah. selection. I'm the co-director. I run all of the on-court options. Thankfully, not the guy that goes into inviting all of the kids that come to camps. You know, it's six camp series. Uh, almost 800 kids went through the process. Well, that's the hard part. And uh, for me, uh, the blessing was I got to do just the volleyball part of it. And that was the part of it that we wanted to change the most. Um, I wanted to, didn't want to sacrifice the integrity of the game in any way. I wanted to find kids that were willing to do the work. and. Uh, find a way to persevere. 
And I came uh, to four of yep. the pre-camps, the, the, the tryouts, if you will. And one thing, it was a two hours of intense volleyball. And you said you wanted to make this intense volleyball experience to truly find the best players in the country. Well, you know, this thing is, is really about forecasting the future. Yeah. You know, and we want to train for where we're going, not for where we've been. Right. And so I wanted to provide an experience that was a little different, maybe more reflective of what they're getting into mm -hmm. at the next level. And then it worked. You know, it, uh, you know the work escalates. That's, that's how it goes, and, and I wanted to be a part of that. And you guys have already started uh, posting and doing some invites for the yes. 24 stuff. Maybe yes. changes or tweaks that might come about in 24? I think that uh, there will probably be more uh, game-oriented options. You know, I think that I'll probably steer more towards uh, providing uh, more six-on-six, six, just more mm -hmm. game perspective than what we have in the past, uh, just a little bit more. Uh, just to get, you see the synergy that's developed by games. I'd like to have a little bit more of that. Uh, I think that uh, the selection process has been, and we're still working on uh, perfecting uh, a, a selection process that gets the absolute top 24 to 28 kids in the building. You know, I, I want to maintain an impartial approach to things. I want to grow uh, the Under Armour brand, obviously but I want to do it with integrity. And I think that we're moving towards uh, a selection system and a selection process that will allow us to look back at the end of the day and go, this is indeed the best, and this is why they're here, and be able to justify each and every kid. Day one of practices have wrapped up at the Under Armour All-American. Would you think that all these players had just met yesterday after the camaraderie and teamwork and honestly just the fun that they've had today at practice? I mean, it's crazy. You would have never thought that they had just met yesterday. They were so close, so engaged with one another, and the competition already in this gym, the level is so high. And it was so, so interesting to see that show today on the court. Yeah, they started off in hitting lines, like we mentioned, started doing some game-type activities out on the court, and then they wrapped up serving blindfolded. I don't know <laughs> if there's anything that brings you together, except maybe being a little bit embarrassed. Exactly. <laughs> we had some whiffs. We had something to make pretty good contact, too. I, I was impressed. I was actually very impressed because I've never tried that, and I don't <laughs> think I want to try that. But seeing these athletes at the level they're already at, still be able to do some of that right was pretty impressive <laughs> we got to talk to some of them too and i think what stood out to me is just how they talked about how they've been treated at this event you know we have had under armor all american games for a lot of different sports but seeing it really start to come together in volleyball has been so special them talking about the gear that they've received and being treated like first class athletes because that's who they are that's the type of schools and programs that these athletes are taking a step into some of them in just a couple weeks yeah for sure and also to hearing them talk about how close they have gotten yeah. with these girls and just how quick they are to make friendships and like relationships with them on and off the court was also pretty impressive. So being able to be treated first class and have people around you that you actually enjoy it with totally makes the whole experience even better. Yep, it's just a preview of what that college experience is going to be like for these athletes. Now, they're all wrapped up for the day. The gym is quiet. They're headed out to have a dinner, some social, and they'll be back in the gym tomorrow morning. And that's when we will be back with more updates. Stay tuned.